Hey, Victor Vizia, and I'm here with my April TBR. More things in here that I'd like to read. I kept it pretty short because April is kind of a weird month. It's kind of busy. I've got a lot of things going on. I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. And one book I have in here is very big. So I kind of wanted to keep it short, keep it manageable. Um, as someone who, you know, is a mood reader, my TBRs do kind of tend to change sometimes, but I am trying to keep to my TBRs a lot more, so I wanted something that was going to be reasonable. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. One of the first things I'd like to go ahead and get to in April is uh, Hellboy and the BPRD 1953. This is a graphic novel that just features kind of five short stories about Hellboy's first trip to um, England and his first adventures in England. There is a Hellboy movie come out this month, and so I figured this would be kind of a fun way to get excited for the movie before I see the movie. I don't know much about Hellboy. I have seen the original movie, um, but I haven't really read any, you know, thing from Hellboy, and this was kind of a fun way. And I figured this would be a fun way to read um, a little bit more about his story since it's like five mini stories, and um, I'm really excited to read this. It sounds really good. I've heard really good things about it. And I do really like the art style, um, and it's something that I can read before the movie comes out. Um, the first, like, book that is on my TBR is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I am so excited to read this. I love how you can't really tell, um, but it kind of looks like you can tell that it's, like, yellowed up here and that it, like, is kind of trying to look like it's older um and I'm so obsessed with Taylor Jenkins Reid I read Seven Husbands uh, a few months ago I think maybe in December um absolutely fell in love with it I th think it's probably one of my favorite like I think it's an all-time favorite book and this is her most recent release I'm so excited to read this it follows uh, Daisy in the late 60s living in LA she uh, sleeping with rock stars sneaking into clubs and dreams of singing and dancing and dreams of singing at the Whiskey A Go Go. The sex and drugs are thrilling, but it's the rock and roll she loves most. By the time she's 20, her voice is getting noticed, and she has the kind of heedless beauty that makes people do crazy things. Also getting noticed is The Six, a band led by the brooding Billy Dune. On the eve of their first tour, his girlfriend uh, Camilla finds out she's pregnant, and with the pressure of impeding fatherhood and fame, Billy goes a little wild on the road. Daisy and Billy cross paths when a producer realizes that the key to supercharged success is to put the two together. What happens next will become the stuff of legend. I am so excited to read this, and I feel like it's told... Kind of the same way Eve, um, Evelyn Hugo was, where it's going to be kind of like maybe like an interview or um, like a newspaper. It's going to be kind of probably interview based, um, but I'm so excited to read this and I'm hoping I can get to this in April. I also have Aberat on my April TBR. I am currently reading this. I'm about 100 pages in or so. This is a interesting kind of uh, YA-ish fantasy that follows our main character Candy Cat. Candy Crockenbush, who lives in the most boring place in the world, Chicken Town, USA. Her heart is bursting for some clue as to what her future might hold. When the answer comes, it is not what she expects. She discovers uh, something called the Aberat, which is a vast archaeoplegio where every island is a different hour of the day. Candy has a place in this extraordinary land. She is here to help save the Aberat from the dark first forces. From the dark forces that are stirring at its heart, forces older than time itself, and more evil than anything Candy has ever encountered. She's a strange heroine, but this is a strange world. This is interesting so far. Um, it's not like anything I've read before, and my boyfriend read it when he was um, younger and really enjoyed it. Um, when we're trying to kind of read books that each other really likes, so he's trying to pick up some things that I really like, and I'm trying to pick up things that he really likes. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very strange, um, um, but I'm really excited to see where it goes, and I'm going to be reading this throughout the month, and uh, probably picking up the rest of the series later on this year as well, but I am really enjoying this so far, and um, I'm intrigued to see where it goes. And the biggest book that has been on my TBR in quite a long time, something that is going to take me quite a long time to read, um, something that I'm very excited to read. It is all over booktube. Everyone is reading it. Everyone is loving it. And that's The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This thing is a chunker. 
it is like bigger than my head. <laughs> it's like 850 something pages. This thing is massive, but I have been like itching and like craving a really good, like epic fantasy. And I feel like this is going to do that for me. Um, this thing is going to take me forever to read. So I'm just going to kind of slowly make my way through it over the next couple months. Um, because if I only read this, I will never get anything else read. But I really want to read it, but I also have so many other things on my TBR. I think this is just going to be kind of something I pick up um, through the week and maybe read a couple chapters at a time. Um, it's also very heavy, so it's not a very good commute book. <laughs> so this will probably be something I keep here at the house and at night probably pick this up, read a couple chapters. Uh, but I'm really, really excited to read it. Everyone is really, really enjoying it. It follows dragons. It follows, like, you know, um, feminist, it features a really strong feminist character, it features dragons and fantasy and, you know, political drama, and so everything I'm here for, and I'm really, really excited to dive into this, and hopefully, um, can get through it. It's, it's quite a chunker. I might have to renew it from the library a couple times, but I'm going to go ahead and try to read this uh, in April as well. Four things that I'd like to go ahead and try to read in April. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys are reading it for April. If you read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!